Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. If you come to this place again and again and these three things do not happen in your life we are wasting your time please leave if you come here again and again and again and these three things do not happen in your life I can assure you do something better with your time number one transformation if the word of God is not changing you I'm not just talking about born again if the word of God is not changing you if the word of God is not changing your character your attitude your mindset hallelujah if you've been coming here for a while and you still hold on to the ideologies that you've had if there is nothing that is compelling you to change to drop those old ideologies be it cultural be it religious be it demonic be it worldly be it carnal if there is no force that compels you to lay down the ideology that you've had then you are not growing hallelujah when a man truly has an encounter with God, one of the things that must happen is transformation. 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 A change of mindset. A change of values. A change of ideology. A change of perception. Something must happen to your mentality. Listen. The word of God is a programming. The word of God is a programming. I told us last week, I went somewhere for a, a crusade and they were asking me, they said, what is the advice to Nigerian youth? I said, I don't have any advice for the Nigerian youth. The Nigerian youth, they don't need an advice. They need a programming, a change. Are you getting my point now? A change. Let me have someone. Aaron, good to see you hallelujah watch this if this is the direction aaron is headed all right if he's following this direction i hope you know that he's taking this step based on a mindset is that true based on an ideology based on a conviction whether academic whether cultural whether religious it doesn't matter now what the word of god does is that when you collide with god through his word there must be a force from the word greater than the force that was initially driving you and that force changes your state this is what we call repentance to repent is not just to confess your sin to repent is to lay down the ideology that take you into that realm and bring you into a new philosophy so that we can look at you and see that your thinking pattern has changed let me tell you if your thought life does not change if your mindset does not change you can limit god in your life hallelujah 
the bible says they limited god in the wilderness as mighty as god is a man's mentality can limit god for a long time god wanted to bless abraham but the mindset of the traditional worship the mindset of the culture he was coming from limited god god kept beckoning on him i want to make you a father of nations i want to make you great but abraham's mind could not cooperate with that which the spirit wanted to do and one day the lord said abraham come out of your house I, I i need to do something to your mind to align with my purposes for your life abraham come out he said now look at the stars let me give you something to play around with and when he tried counting the stars he said can you count them he said no he said so shall thy seed be finally abraham believed god and it was counted unto him for righteousness hallelujah the power of God is not short to change and bring miracles and breakthroughs. It's just that we have been taught. And, and, and it's my job in the body of Christ to always address imbalances and error. On one side, we've been taught that everything depends on God. You have no role to play. You just be born again and there is a smooth ride. Common sense teaches you that it does not make sense. Are you following me now? Then on the other hand we have men who are struggling just using concepts alone and human philosophy forgetting that there must be a god factor in the equation of your life both extremes are very very wrong all through scripture from genesis to revelation there has always been a partnership between god through his spirit and a willing vessel that can pay the price and allow his mindset to subscribe to the higher values of heaven hallelujah the difference between brother a and brother b is not the color of their skin is their degree of alignment to the holy spirit how much they have submitted their mindset to take up the higher mindset of the values listen the bible says my thoughts are higher than your thoughts is that true and and that word the, the the greek word word there word of god is logos it means the thoughts of god so the word of god gives you his ideology when you read my books you study my persuasions you study my convictions is that true so if you stay long enough with my books and you open up yourself to the influence of my thought patterns you will begin to think like me even if you've never met me we will talk as though we've been together this is the ministry of the word it's not just to make us speak christian language no the word of god is supposed to transcend it produces a force that force compels your mind to change to align to spiritual things so that when god wants to pass through your life your ideologies will not resist him hallelujah bless you Aaron. everybody say transformation are you being transformed it's not enough to come to church and sit down and keep writing is the word of god changing you you can limit the power of the word of god some of you can choose to walk out of this place wow nice sermon so this is how koinonia is like wonderful i'm impressed i'm blessed that can be your the the, the things that you are carrying back home and someone else can sit down and say lord i'm aware that my mindset is the reason why i am where i am my mindset has been limiting your work in my life you want to bless me but there's something in my life that resists you you want to lift me you want to make me great but there's something and i am aware so i come to man he needs to step into your soul realm and take complete charge of your mind your mindset so that your ideologies are a derivative of the word of god not culture there are aspects of culture that are good there are aspects of culture that are devilish devilish they were crafted out by wicked men sponsored by spirits that are not under the influence of the spirit of god and many of us have grown up with these ideologies and although you've gone to school although you are working 
although you are married that mindset is stopping God from doing certain things in your life many of us have gotten mindsets by from our past you have a mindset concerning fatherhood you have a mindset concerning marriage you have a mindset concerning money concerning prosperity concerning poverty concerning God concerning the Holy Spirit these are all mindsets that have been given unto us by a system that does not honor God so when we come into his presence we do not come just to say Lord add to what I have sometimes you need to say Lord open me up like a surgery right and pick out everything that does not align with your divine pattern everybody say transformation listen if the word of God is truly changing you then regardless of the fact that Aaron is from Kaduna state and Ken is from the east you should have similarities in mindset because you have you have laid down your personal culture to pick up the excellence of the culture of a higher kingdom hallelujah but the issue is that many of us love seeing the power of God we love seeing the grace of God we love seeing people fall under the anointing and miracles happen and there's nothing wrong with that except for the fact that is the word of God changing you the, the decisions you made last year if you still make those decisions today in spite of the power of God's word then that's what they call frustrating the grace of God hallelujah the Bible says the days of our ignorance God overlooks right so if you do not know God can create a system by his mercy to help you but where the word of the Lord comes it comes to build you it comes to take you out of your current position hallelujah say I allow the word of God to change me say it I allow the word of God to change me the worst evil you can do to yourself is to hold on to your mindset hold on to what you had that made you such a failure it was the failure that brought you to the presence of God and now God is saying lay down this thing pick up another culture that can take you your ministry is grounded because of a mindset that is keeping you lay down that mindset and pick up another your marriage is not working because there is a mindset that is keeping you your relationship is not working because there is a mindset men run away from you because there is a mindset women run away because there is a mindset the power of God is far favor is far from your life because there is an ideology that stands as an antichrist but when you come to God's presence it tells you lay down this mindset lay down this mindset that's your own responsibility to say Lord all my life I've been taught that you must be a hustler to make it hit it left right and center I saw my father hustling I saw my mother hustling I saw my elder ones hustling and God says uh -uh, the kingdom of God is not haphazard come and let me teach you how the economic system of the kingdom works and you're like Lord is there even a system and he says yes there is you can walk circumspectly hallelujah all your life you've always known that if a lady wants to marry she'll go to a herbalist with the picture of the person he wants to marry and one goat that's all you've seen people around you dragging goats to herbalist to chain a brother and force him to get married that's how you know it to be done now you are ready to get married and they say oh yeah where is your own goat and god is saying uh-uh uh-uh he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her mate so a new ideology starts coming and i'm telling you if you are changing it will create blessings and create persecutions at the same time because you live in an environment with people who have refused to change so your change begins to frustrate them if they are not fighting you you are not changing 
Are you hearing what I'm saying? Something must change about your life. Everyone is used to bribing. If you want job, give this person through the back door 50,000 and they tell you, look, we're all Christians. In fact, I'm a pastor. As you see me like this, we all did it. And the moment you want to do that, a scripture rises up in you. Something changes. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am that I am. And a scripture wells up in you. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? And what communion has light got to do with darkness? And you turn and tell them, I'm going to cry, but my God will give me this job. I will not bribe anybody, no bribery. And they say, look at how stupid you are talking. Nigeria, this thing has been there. He said, uh -uh, I may be a Nigerian, but I function from another realm. There is a kingdom that sponsors my life. And I'm an ambassador. And I can call on the embassy I represent. It may take a while. I may look stupid. But God is able to make it happen. The moment you speak you mount pressure on god because he's the one you are representing and for the sake of his reputation you cause him to step down but many of us are ashamed at such points you say i went to school how can i start talking about embassy heaven i please let's let's be reasonable what is fifty thousand? hallelujah Before now, your ideology has been the quickest way to be rich is pin down one rich man. Just find a rich, even if he's not born again, you will change him. Pin him down, force him to marry you. That's how they've been taught. And there are many people here as you're sitting down. Some is your parents. They've indirectly warned you. They say, have we not suffered in this life? They say, yes, we have suffered. Say, do you want us to continue like this? They say, no, sir. Say, Tor, complete the puzzle by yourself. What they are telling you indirectly is that no matter how born again this brother is, once he has not arrived, the promises are not there. Pack your load and go. And some of you, that's how you are looking. And God is sending a very godly brother. You are seeing him pray here. He's sweating in your presence. He's hearing the word of God that can change. But because he has not gotten to Canaan, while you are sitting down kicking away men, you will see a quick work that God will do in him. All of a sudden, Saul who was a slave or a, 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 a somebody else will come in power and glory. And you will now look and say, ah, oh God, why didn't you show me a vision that this guy would change so fast? Say mindsets. Say it. Some of you are already angry. It's too early. I've not started preaching. It's too early this night. Could it be that there is a mindset that is frustrating you? There are many pastors who are suffering and struggling in ministry because their mindsets about ministry will never change. I said it last week. They are looking for lifting quickly. They want everybody to call them a pastor. You call them Aaron and say, Aaron, you didn't add pastor. That's a mindset because you think that is the title that gives the dignity. He said, if you call yourself the children of Abraham, do the works of Abraham. Prove that you are the children of Abraham indeed. You don't move around saying i'm an apostle i'm a prophet i'm a teacher he said let her walks speak for her at the gates who is god speaking to tonight your mindset is limiting him your mindset is limiting god your mindset is limiting god every brother that comes to marry you something happens and he leaves we have prayed for you we knew the day you were delivered so we are sure you are delivered but things have not changed that means there is a mindset problem listen it's not everything that is demons you must learn to take responsibility many of us receive solace in the fact that demons when you hear them say it's not your fault you say yes i've always known it's your fault this night you must take responsibility i've always known from my father's house they want to kill me but you were delivered 
everybody saw that God changed you. Why have things not changed? Because your mindset is a bigger demon, an antichrist that is standing between Canaan and Egypt. Hallelujah. There are Christians who still cheat in the exam hall. They say, forget it. I saw a pastor doing it with my own eyes. Ah, I even know him. If I mention his name, I saw him. So what? Hallelujah. What about living all kinds of immoral life? In the world, the primary purpose of relationship is for immorality. It's not even for marriage. It's just a, an official way of looking for a partner to be sleeping around with. So when a guy thinks he doesn't have enough courage to look around for ladies, he goes to find somebody and say, okay, we're in a relationship. They don't even know where they are going. Hallelujah. And there are believers who love God. Some of you are here, you are looking at me. You see, I'm not condemning you, but I'm saying that, 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 that God must come face to face with the world. And when it comes, one must bow. You cannot embrace these things and say, let's go together. It can go, we can walk it. No, you cannot walk it. Light and darkness cannot stay in the same place. Don't say it does not matter. Let me tell you the truth. If you want to see the authentic glory of God in your life, no, it matters. And I always say this because many of us here are young people. Don't let anybody fool you and say everybody is doing it. No, sir. There are people who have tapped into a higher law. The Bible says, who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? Until you climb that hill, it does not look like it's possible. Are you getting my point? I counsel people, I talk to people, and there are people who come and say, I love God, but I, women, hey, I, I can't see women. I don't, ah, is, is it really true that there are people who are keeping themselves? It's not by determination. Hallelujah. If it's by determination, maybe I would have had children that, that would do children's service for koinonia. But there is a grace that takes you. So although you are human, people say, I beg, Jare, you are flesh and blood. No, but there is a spirit that lives inside you. The Bible says, know ye not that your body, listen, choose to believe this this night. Don't let it sound childish to you. Choose to believe. If it was not possible, God would be a wicked person for putting that as a principle. Hallelujah transformation there are some of us who can kill for money that's your own mindset you overcame ladies from bed you don't even have a problem with ladies because you you want to make it even if a lady stands naked in your front once there's no money on her you are living you are not the devil can the devil has been defeated when it comes to that one but money ha, ha, ha. you can be dying if they wave money you come back to life there are people like that they love money they can just put money on their table and just be looking at it like this they are not using it it's, it's, doing, it's like a drug they are taking your worst time in church is when they say giving of all sorts even if they don't mention you the fact that somebody else is going to drop money you take it past now You are not giving, but just seeing that money is leaving somebody, it's, it's paining you. Something is moving in your body. Advise this guy to take it back. It's a spirit. It's a dangerous spirit. Hallelujah. There are many of us who have certain mindsets of laziness. Laziness. Hallelujah. A man will sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon you are a man when do you want to marry next year till one o'clock you are still sleeping and you will see one of our sisters who has been trusting god preparing herself like a bride for a very nice person you just believe that because we say hug one another in koinonia it gives you a license to just get up carelessly 
and just go and meet a sister and say Shebi, they said let's get to know one another no are you preparing for that future i'm challenging you tonight say transformation what mindset have you refused to drop down romans chapter 12 Can you imagine that I've not even touched my message? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Say the word of the Lord is changing me. Say it is changing me. It's building me. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's just turn there. I beseech you therefore brethren by the message of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be ye what be ye how do you get transformed by the renewing of your mind you get transformed when you take your mind to the theater of the spirit and a surgery is performed the spirit of god himself and the surgical knife is the word of god that is able to cut across the bones and the marrows and it opens you up and begins to edit your life and when it is done you come back a brand new person hallelujah there are many of us those around you who are unbelievers there's no pressure that your life is bringing to them in fact they are more they are comfortable a guy can i'm not talking of condemnation and just pointing fingers at people and say you are going to hell no but that there is an illumination that your transformation can bring to anybody that is not serious with god that if somebody's prayer life is dying he doesn't even need to tell you all he needs to say is can i come and spend weekend in your house or in your room and they are so sure that at the end of three days something will change in their lives hallelujah there are some channels if you are walking in sin you will never want to turn to those channels perpetually 24 hours you will hear a message almost immediately within a space of five minutes that will judge you dove tv redeemed rtm you know that once you are doing something wrong you want to look for another channel that can accommodate what you are doing when you turn to those ones you hear papa adebo just give five minutes something is already flogging the nonsense in you can your life be like that that people are gossiping and and talking stories about others and as soon as you step in everybody just keeps quiet because a true ambassador stepped in one who will not compromise not that when you step in say hey come add add to this discussion what what were you even saying that day no hallelujah that in your office when they are mentioning men and women of integrity your name must be mentioned and they know that no if you want to throw this person try it another way bribery will not work even if it means him being demoted just forget it there is no issue of having a meeting with him it will not happen come on now listen if this is not happening in this place then we are wasting our time i don't care how many people fall on the ground roll on the ground even if you float in the air if it does not translate to transformation in your life then we are lying somewhere hallelujah so is your mindset changing ask your neighbor 
says your mindset changing what did he tell you ask him who can verify that you are changing you can't call somebody that you bought something for in the afternoon to verify whether you are changing or not the answer will certainly be yes your enemy is the only person with the right to testify whether you truly fear God or not it was Satan that came to testify about Job is that true Satan himself he said ah no come on now I've seen a man Job Satan the father of all liars a man's integrity compels Satan to tell the truth he said I know I'm a liar I can twist things but this one there's nothing I can say against this man may that be your testimony that somebody can look at you and say I know I hate Ken let me tell you I hate him but when you are talking about a man who is a Christian indeed I'm an, I, I'm an unbeliever as you see me I don't fear God I, let me go to hell but I can tell you this person have you seen people like that they don't respect God they look at you and say see see cigarette in my pocket but I can point to you who are the real men of God and you even be talking it was in Antioch when unbelievers called this set of people Christians those who were behaving like Christ not religiously something had happened to them see if your mindset does not change and you are trying to fake it it will frustrate you are you getting what i'm saying one day you will be tired if you don't have a revelation of giving and you are giving 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 one day when there's nobody you say kai i'm tired honestly thank god this my wicked roommate is not going to follow me for koinonia today i'm tired that's how you can see many people serve in the body of Christ immediately they leave to another geographical location within two or three months they've changed in a way you'll be like ah, uh -uh. this brother used to lead prayers what suddenly happened they really did not get it I'm telling you there is a way you get it it becomes like a cancer in you no matter how much you fall you can't go too far the, the, the fraternity is too much it's like a cult when you see people claim to love God and two months away from an environment of God's presence, they just change. They really did not get it. You can be among believers, I hope you know, doing what everybody is doing. But everybody knows the foundation and the root where he is standing. And the Bible says, let he that stands take heed lest he fall. So number one, transformation. Number two, Three things that must happen in your life you're ready number two is that your life must bear fruits it must produce results write it fruits results the fruit in a tree is a sign that that tree has been well nourished and that it is alive and growing Jesus caused a fig tree not because he did not see green leaves he caused the fig tree because it was taking up nutrients from the earth but it was not producing fruits your life must prove that god is at work in you not just by transformation transformation is good we talk about character and conformity but there must be results in your life everyone say results bishop oyedeko said the end of every argument is proof you don't argue with proof are you getting my point now when john the baptist sent that they should go and ask jesus are you the messiah or should we expect another jesus did not even answer he just turned started healing the sick casting out devils he said go and tell john what you have seen is this not the evidence that was given to him in the wilderness that the messiah would do now see me doing it why are you asking again hallelujah when you are a christian and you are excellent in your job they give you a task to do 
you do it with with a dimension of intelligence that is not known to those people there is a proof there are you hearing what i'm saying when you keep loving god and you get to a point look let me tell you if you serve god with time everything around your life should change i'm not one of those people who believes that you should just sit down of course in the process there are lots of things to contend against but with time there must be fruit that sign upon your life that god is with you even if you work for the devil even if you work for the devil one day ultimately he's going to destroy you but at least in the interim you will reap the 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 dividends of allegiance is that true there are all kinds of worldly people who are about to tag on and although they are going to hell if they do not repent but in the interim they are enjoying heaven on earth at least that's the consolation to keep them satan took jesus to a mountain and said jesus if you will bow to me i promise you i i have i've not started preaching you know that's the problem you just look now and see that it's past nine I wish there was a way I can throw all these clocks out of this, this place. There's so much in my spirit to share. Hallelujah. Everybody say results. Say proofs. If you claim God is calling you in a healing ministry, it's okay that when we start, nothing is happening. But with time, there should be the signature of God upon your healing ministry. I do not know any healing evangelist who organizes a crusade and God does not confirm it. If he's a true healing evangelist, somebody should be sick. Somebody should arise from the wheelchair. I do not know one true person who carries the apostolic spirit of God who struggles with fear and timidity and does not have the power of faith and the work of God in their lives. I do not know one person like that except they are just talking stories. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say after me in the name of Jesus. May my life produce results. Many of you, this is the level you are right now. The reason why nobody has listened to you or subscribe to your ideologies is because they have not seen the benefit is that true and 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 I, and I want to be very honest with you benefit in every area of life financially maritally job wise in every area of your life no matter how critical people are let me tell you proof can close the mouth of anybody are you getting me you can criticize a man the greatest way to respond to your critics is not by answering. Don't waste your time. They are determined not to understand. Keep trailing the proofs. Let the works keep speaking at the gates. A point will come, those they are talking to will say, I'm tired of hearing your stories. You waste your own proof. Hallelujah. When Jesus hung upon the cross, about to die, the Bible says the atmospheric condition the climate just changed and those who looked there they just remembered and truly they acknowledged even in death they saw something there are many of us it will just take one proof everybody say one proof one proof for every unbeliever in your house to bow down they've grown in poverty they've suffered in poverty although that's not an ultimate reason to push them to god but trust me prosperity can bring men to god hallelujah when every herbal medicine has failed when every black substance they they tied in the leather and they told your father to choke in the pocket of all his trousers to bring prosperity when he has put it in every pocket and it refused to bring prosperity and you come teaching the principles of the kingdom and things begin to change come on now you don't argue with proofs hallelujah may your life produce results in the name of jesus christ may you not be like the barren fig tree a fig tree with green leaves 
that means they are seeing you coming for koinonia every week every week to an extent that others can look at you and mock you and say where is your god i prophesy to you your god is coming through for you in the name of the lord jesus your god is coming through to silence every pharaoh that attempts to mock your god your life will produce results in the name of jesus christ results i believe in results i believe in results many of you are here by the grace of god not necessarily because you love me some of you don't even love me at all you don't plan to it's just that you need the results hallelujah but you are still welcome and the power of god is such that the results can be reproduced again and again and again that's why i love the anointing of the holy spirit you don't need to refrigerate it you don't need to give your neighbor to keep it for you and collect it on except you use talisman that's why i worship him take his presence and his glory out of my life many of you will see me on the street and pass as if you just saw a tire on the floor that's why i feel sad for people who want to come out of inferiority and complex and kick they kick god out of the equation and they believe they'll be able to rise without him impossible impossible if you are tired of your condition the greatest way is to embrace god first hallelujah because god will take you out of every situation results your life must bear fruit in the name of the lord jesus christ say my life must bear fruit go ahead pray in one minute pray in one minute i don't just want us to talk it as stories my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit my life must bear fruit i've been born again for many years no soul has come to the kingdom as a result of my life lord i'm tired i've been praying for the sick i don't have one verifiable testimony let this change oh god everyone i've prayed for for breakthrough they've returned with worse situations instead of making it better but Lord, I've told them you are with me. Change my story. The finance of my family has not changed. Lord, I'm not loving you just because of finances. But if my finances change, my father will follow me to church. If my finances change, if my loved ones get admission, they will come to know you. For their sake, oh God, let there be results in my life. Please pray. I sense that God wants us to pray on this issue. My life must bear fruits. My life must bear fruits. My life must bear fruit, oh God. I'm tired of a barren and unfruitful Christian life. My ministry is not growing. Pray because there's no proof. My God, people come and they leave. If there are real miracles, if there are real transformations, they will come and stay. Everyone mocks my family in spite of our spirituality because they have not seen god change our level turn again oh god the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev let men see an evidence that god is with us pray say lord let the marriage come even 
if it is to prove that Jesus is alive to prove that the witches and the wizards and the devils in my village do not have the final say Lord I know that there is a cause of poverty that lingers in my family but I've confessed your word that it is broken let it show in my life as a testament so that idol worship can stop in my family we have no right to tell men to stop going to herbalists if we cannot produce the proofs that God is with us we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get children if we cannot heal the body we have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get money if we cannot prove that God prospers people lift your voice and pray get angry change my story change my story oh god i have served you in spite of the result but tonight i hold on to you change my story pray koinonia there is a spirit of intercession that has come upon the house pray change my story change my story change my story prove a point with my life make me an object of prayer silence the voice of wicked men many are they that rise up against me many are they that say where is his help but i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth Oh God, let there be a difference between those that serve you and those that do not serve you. Come on, saints of God, travel for your destiny. There must be an evidence. You have been transformed, but there are no results. There are no results. Men have a right to speak against your God. Lord, hasten my miracle. Come on, pray. Hasten my miracle hasten the breakthrough please pray god is answering people in this place lord give my father the job although my auntie is past menopause give her a child as a sign and a wonder that god is alive although my sister is 40 years old give her a husband that men may know that God is alive although my father was sacked from the job give him another one oh God to prove that you may be a prophet over my family Lord you have vowed to increase my greatness produce results in my life come on koinonia pray produce results in my life that can silence men produce results that can prove that my god is alive i love him more than the results but in this season i desire to see the result command it command it increase my greatness let the blind see through my hands oh god for your glory pray let the wheelchair arise to silence principalities and powers open the heavens oh god and let prosperity come upon my life where i'll be rejected no man wants to identify with me make me an eternal excellency come on are you praying koinonia and a joy of many generations hallelujah 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 we'll take one prayer point before we settle down you're going to pray and say lord every power that stops my miracles from the heavenlies so that men will keep mocking my god tonight i command you to give way come on lift your voice and pray daniel prayed 
for 21 days the angel came and said daniel from the first day that you set your foot to pray your prayers were answered but the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, pray i subdue powers i subdue powers that operate in the heavenlies territorial spirits i subdue powers in the heavenly realms i subdue powers workers of evil You must bow there is fire in my life there is fire in my destiny to burn every chaff everything god has not planted shake it off shake it off shake it from your life i shake away witchcraft i shake away divination i shake away enchantment come on now shake it off in the name of jesus no power can stand i am an inferno of fire no enchantment no curse can stand against my destiny pray your prayer will bear fruits it will produce results pray the effectual fervent prayer Repetekete is our season of greatness. We went war against poverty. We went war against sickness. We went war against the works of darkness. It's our season to arise. Come on now, pray. Make your life too hot for the devil. Make your life too hot for witches and wizards. Make your life too hot for wicked spirits. Break the yoke from your neck. Break the yoke from your shoulders. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Tell the devil I stand in my priestly and my prophetic office tonight. I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 There must come a time in your life where you stop getting afraid and rise up and say, Satan, I've had the word enough. I don't need to wait for Friday again. Come into my room like Mount Camel. Let's solve this problem once and for all. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. One more time, we are going to pray. Come on, pray. This is breakthrough prayers. This is breakthrough prayers. I sense the spirit of prayer and supplication. <laughs> I must break through on every side. There is power in prayer. There is power when the saints pray. There is power when you pray. Make contact with the spirit. There is power. Pray. Enough is enough. Where is the devil? Where is the devil? By the power of prophetic prayer, resist the devil. He will flee. Shaka, <laughs> 
Hallelujah. I feel an open heaven. I know when there is an open heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I taught you on the speaking blood. We are going to apply the blood of Jesus. You are going to say, Satan. This is the price to release my destiny. I invoke the blood. Come on now, Koinonia. I invoke the blood. Every sacrifice that has been born and made, I invoke the blood. The blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood. I challenge the death of through the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The price. Listen, come, let me have four people. Let me show you what prayer does in the spirit. Let me just have four people stand here. Just, just turn like this. Facing. Stand. Just stand behind. Watch this. Watch this. Someone come and hold this. Anybody? This is your miracle. This is your breakthrough, but watch this. Stand there. Please shift forward. Paul said, listen. He said, a great door and an effectual has been opened unto me. He said, but many, many, many are the adversities. These are the spirits. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places watch this the bible says if any man afflicted let him pray if any man afflicted let him pray when you begin to pray watch this there is a force there is a force of the spirit that begins to mount pressure 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 on all of these things is an ability of the spirit you push through barriers by the power of god's spirit until you take what belongs to you listen listen that's why god gives you one of the reasons why he gives you the prayer language of tongues praying in your understanding will weary you after 20 minutes the bible says you may not understand the dynamics on how to confront this spirit but when you switch to that prayer language the holy ghost hey yeah, 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 yeah. the holy ghost listen when you begin to pray something
Kapata Nabako Hey Shapataya Shima Bekete Bokosa When your prayer life rises Shabu must let you go Hallelujah. See, listen. There is a way you can pray. You will know when you break through. The reason is, the truth is, many believers don't pray. Hallelujah. There is a way you can pray. You will know your spirit is lifted from that realm. You will know an audacity comes upon you. You know you can shake off evil. Hallelujah. One more prayer point. Before you sit down, you're going to say in the name of Jesus, I take back everything the devil has taken from my family. Prophesy. Shita. Wapata Hallelujah. 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 The hand of the Lord is upon me. And I want to prophesy. As I prophesy, the power of God will be causing breakthroughs and restoration. The anointing of the Spirit is strong upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every power holding anyone down right now in the name of jesus i command you let them go let them go right now let them go i prophesy breakthrough i command breakthrough in the name of the lord jesus i command breakthrough to your family breakthrough financial breakthrough breakthrough in hell Academic, in your job, in the name of Jesus, Amen. open heaven, open heaven, it's your season to rise, it's your season of greatness, every power stopping you, we challenge it tonight, in the name of Jesus, Amen.
Please sit down. God bless you. Be seated. Your life must become uncomfortable for anything that is not of God. See, I tell you the power of God is I sense such a strong anointing resting on people. As I teach, God is going to be visiting people in very strong ways. Enough is enough. God gave us a word. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. I'm not sure I can go into the details of tonight's teaching, but I hope I'll be able to touch. I really have a very serious revelation that I want to share. Let's see how far God can help us wherever we stop. Hallelujah. Genesis 1. Verse 26. The Lord gave us a word that this year for us is a season of light and dominion. It's not just a word like many ministries have a word at the beginning of the year. Hallelujah. Light. He said, They that sat in Nephtha and Zebulun have seen a great light. A great light. Genesis 1 verse 26. And God said, Let us make man in our image, after our likeness, and let them have dominion. Let them, this man, I hope you know that when he was speaking, the woman was still in the man. Because man, Adam, not the name of a man, dust. Hallelujah. Man was first created body has thou prepared for me hallelujah and then he brought about a separation between the man and the woman but before then he blessed them and he said let them have dominion now listen it is in the character of the spirit that the same word that brings you prophecy is the same word that prepares the way for that prophecy to come to pass are you getting my point the bible says when at the brook cherith when the brook dried he told elijah the prophet he said get thee go down to Zarephath." he said dear i have commanded a widow to feed thee but the woman did not sound like god had informed her a prophet was coming however the same word that took elijah to Zarephath was the same word that softened the heart of the woman so when god gives you a word the word follows you through and makes sure that the path is clear until that word comes to pass are you getting what i'm saying so when god said let man have dominion that means there must have been a provision for that man to access what it takes to walk in that dominion hallelujah God does not just speak empty talk. It's like sending a man to the market and not giving him money. So let's see how God equipped man to exercise dominion in reality. Hallelujah. Genesis chapter 2. I wish we had time, but I'll just touch briefly wherever. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 8. And the Lord planted a garden eastward in Eden. And there he put the man that he had formed. And out of the ground made the Lord to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight. And good for food. Now watch this. Everybody look up. The Bible says God made every other tree to grow from the ground are you following me 
however the bible says there were two trees those trees did not grow from the ground follow me are you getting my point the bible says god made to grow every tree please unto the eyes that is good for food then it says the tree of life also also in the midst of the garden and then he says and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil please follow me i want to teach you powerful spiritual laws that can help you to walk in dominion to eat of every tree including the tree of life are you getting my point the first revelation i want you to have is that man's eating the tree of life was not for hunger are you getting me adam could not be hungry he was not in the fallen state are you getting me in the realm of the spirit you don't eat for hunger for hunger you eat for impartation and knowledge that's what food does in the spirit food does not satisfy hunger no no when you eat food like let's say in spiritually now i'm not talking of all these demonic things that people you saw yourself eating suya in the dream that's not what i'm talking about hallelujah you don't eat in the spirit to satisfy hunger food does two things for you in eden's atmosphere one it gives you knowledge two it gives you impartation hallelujah that's why the prophet was giving the word and he ate it when he ate it he did something to him are you getting what i'm saying now watch this everybody write the mystery of forbidden knowledge that's not the topic i want to show you what the two trees were supposed to represent one was the tree of life the other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil another word was the it, it carried what we call the mystery of forbidden knowledge the word mystery just means hidden truths about a knowledge that god does not want his people to know not because he hates them you must understand this god does not want us to know everything and then i will show you what the angels came and did the fallen angels when they came they did something to the daughters of men are you getting me they took from this forbidden knowledge and they began to feed mankind with it ah. time, 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 time. praise god god categorically warned man he said the trees in the garden of eden every time you eat them they will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying so if you eat of the tree of life it will keep giving you the revelation and the insight to walk in dominion it gives life eating of that tree gives life are you getting me that's the mystery of eternal life adumbrated by that tree that's why when jesus came he said ah uh ah -uh, man shall not live by bread alone if man wants to live he must keep eating something are you getting me so walking experientially for eternal life to be culminated in you there is something that must be done in you please listen and this is where i want to balance this is what where we get the concept of immortality how many of you have heard all those teachings of immortality now unfortunately many people brought the teachings but they did not understand how the operation immortality is not something you claim immortality is a product of eating of the tree of life again and again it causes eternal life not just to translate from your spirit to your soul but to happen in your body and that's where you say oh death where is your sting are you getting what i'm saying now it so happens that our rate of transformation is so slow are you getting me now that the degradation of the sin nature in our body catches up with us before these capsules of rejuvenation find expression in us this is why although the law of immortality is at work not many people will ever enter it the secret is not just prayer for long life 
the secret is intercoursing with this eternal life that was how adam was supposed to live forever are you getting my point now so by eating of the tree of life that was why when he fell god said no you can't eat of the tree of life again because the tree of life keeps you in whatever state you are and stops you from dying if he ate of the tree of life salvation redemption would not be possible again so god drove him out are you seeing that now god didn't just drive him because he was angry he drove man out of the garden because he loved him praise the lord what is this i want to explain to you what is this mystery of forbidden knowledge look up how many of you have heard of certain books called the books of moses right 10 books of moses 11 books of moses how many of you have heard of all these extra biblical references that were written by egyptians and written by all kinds of people have you heard of those kinds of things how many of you have heard of people that lived long ago in mountains who wrote certain books that were found now listen if i don't teach you this because the lord began to reveal to me that this is the strategy the devil is bringing when the angels do you know why god did not want man to know i hope you know that adam never knew adam never knew that before his coming there was a history hallelujah he had never eaten of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and with it comes evil are you getting me adam was supposed to eat of the tree of life and continue his intimacy with god and reproduce children after his kind when satan came into the garden satan did not make adam sleep with a dog no he knew that that would not get the agenda done he said man come there is one tree i want you to touch just taste it once it will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying now everybody say forbidden knowledge this is the information that through sorcery and witchcraft please hear me the fallen angels and all of these aliens and all of these devilish spirits they downloaded and brought to inhabitants in the earth are you getting me these were the informations that were given men like nimrod so they had super intelligence about certain things are you following me i want to shock you i hope you will believe me look at me did you know that most of our technological advancement are you getting me are as a result of fraternity with beings that were not in the earth are you getting me it had to be a supply of a level it's not just human discipline don't mind what all those books tell you just be hard working and think well no sir those people had interactions with beings is that how did solomon become extremely rich and blessed what happened to him god visited him from another realm is that not true they had a conversation listen this conversation is still happening in the earth till today are you following me let me share with you something very briefly i hope you believe me the bible says jesus was given the parable of the wheat and the tear is that true he said while men everybody while men hold on he says while men slept something happened in the earth realm where men were sleeping now the sleeping is not bad we always use that sleep to mean while men were backsliding no he meant literal sleep that means there is something that cannot happen when men are awake are you getting me jesus was telling us something powerful he says the moment men sleep some beings can walk into the earth and he said the enemy quickly comes plants something and goes his way so you wake up with a growth that was not there before you slept and is somebody following me what happened who came and put it there while men slept 
are you seeing why the bible says the keeper of israel neither nor it says every time men sleep something happens in this earth realm there are certain beings that come into the earth realm that's why people sleep in the night and in their dream realms they have all kinds of encounters with beings and animals and all kinds of things happen from intercourse to eating to every kind of thing and they wake up the next day only for them to fail at work or fail in exams something happened while men The psalmist saw this in Psalm 91 and he says, Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, right? Nor the noisome pestilence. But many believers are dull of understanding. Dominion. Dominion is not just a function of I claim it, there is spiritual intelligence that can bring you into that position where you walk in dominion are you hearing what i'm saying please are you getting something so this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was never supposed to be consumed by man are you getting me look, look at me when you open that book you will find good but you will not know when evil is planted in the good are you getting what i'm saying that's why a pastor can go and read the 12th book of Moses or go and read Scientology and be looking at it and saying, wow, so candles or certain things can do something to witches and wizards. Everybody say forbidden knowledge. Are you getting that now? And then they read certain zodiac books and they look and they say, why not I add this knowledge? To what i already have are you getting what i'm saying and they will seem to work powerfully that is the forbidden knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil sometimes we celebrate it what do we call it rema is that true and we bring all kinds of things i've heard about men of god and prophets and all kinds of people who do every kind of nonsense in the body of Christ all kinds of magic happening everywhere I once heard of a man of God who came for a program and he was preaching and he called somebody he said look at me the person who looked at him became blind at once yes completely blind at once members were clapping people were running to come and drop seed I don't know what they were tapping into but they were running and everybody was happy watch this and then after the guy preached 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 he did everything and then he prayed again and the guy was open and he said for that reason everything that is closed in everybody's life you know i open it and you see everybody just shouting amen listen let me tell you listen listen will people get results they will get tremendous results are you hearing what i'm saying because the laws that have been operated are valid spiritual laws but this is the point because it was not initiated and sponsored by the spirit of god although it is correct knowledge it is called witchcraft so it's not about what produces result it's about the spirit of god initiating and sustaining that process hallelujah there are many teachings coming to the body of christ men and women of god who went to lock themselves to pray for three days and seven days or whatever and in the midst of this prayer because many people did not exalt the word above prophecy they had visitations but they were not of god however they were not visitations of inhabitants of the earth and they came and committed to them power and gave them all kinds of things and they came out from all of those experiences and you see power you see anointing but it is not initiated and sponsored by the spirit 
and the sign is number one the glory never goes to God such kinds of people never give God the glory because it is part of the agreement are you following me now it is God's desire that we grow the Bible even said knowledge shall increase but you must guard when the table is set before you you are only permitted to eat of the tree of life there is a kind of knowledge that only puffs up have you seen people hold on i want to say a few things that will challenge you have you seen a lot of people please i don't mean this for criticism or anything have you seen a lot of people who got mad as a result of prayer have you have you seen those kinds of things that somebody got to pray and he started praying until they took him to the psychiatry and locked him i remember a lady years ago this lady was praying in tongues seemingly for about almost 48 hours i was there abu secure this girl was just praying 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 she wouldn't listen to anybody i wish i knew what i know now and the thing confuses the body of christ hallelujah everybody say forbidden knowledge men of god if you're in ministry here you have to be very careful that that insatiable lust for rema and revelation you must guard carefully and let this that's why walking in the spirit is the secret it gives you life when you walk in the flesh you may learn a lot of principles that although they are powerful it leads men to death so the more revelation a man is getting the more he's dying not to self dying as a result of the absence of light see this is how you know is one character to know that a man is not of god when you compare the rate of revelation versus the rate of transformation when there is so much word conferences happening conventions happening meetings happening rema upon rema bible study all kinds of things yet you do not see that that word is chaff it lacks the life to build people there is error i hope somebody is learning something here god put two trees and all the trees can supply knowledge for one it is the knowledge that brings life there are certain teachings on deliverance that does not bring life is that true there are certain teachings on deliverance that brings people into bondage because people added bible knowledge plus confessions that they got from people who were once witches and wizards is that true and they added everything and they say if you want the devil to run away from you once it's nine o'clock wear red that that one is not in the bible you see that that is that is deception dimension there i, I is somebody following what i'm saying i apologize if maybe these are the tenants of your church or your ministry i really apologize i love the body of christ but i have to teach you the truth so there is the biblical concept of deliverance for instance then there are others who have spent their entire life interviewing seemingly witches and wizards begging for audience with herbalists to explain to them the realm of the spirit knowing that satan is the father of all liars are you getting my point now and it is on the strength of those information they have built their prayer ministries or built a lot of things so when you want to pray for somebody you look and say uh -uh, i can't pray for you like this you are wearing a black shoe change it into a special kind of slippers that you wear when you enter my my this thing for the power to work this one is astrology and witchcraft is somebody getting what i'm saying or you get all kinds of candles with different colors this flame that flame this flame and you say now come and sit in the midst of it and just be calm as i drive this spirit uh -uh. this is called transcendental meditation this is witchcraft hallelujah yet 
you come and sit down in the midst of that candle something suddenly happens to you and you start taking first in the class all of a sudden your intelligence is heightened you think beyond your level and because you're follow my story please because you are getting results you will be encouraged are you hearing what i'm saying be careful because many people are eating of the forbidden tree they are eating right now today here and now they are getting access to knowledge that seems to be producing results thank you but that knowledge is not of god Maybe some of us right here as you are sitting down are already in these deceptions. The moment you read those books, although they are blowing your mind, but something in your spirit starts checking. The Holy Ghost is telling you, uh -uh, when did you get into this? When did you get into this? And you see, these books are in our libraries. You can get them online. Many of you have watched every kind of thing. You see a man who has supernatural ability to listen to plants and animals and you sit down there are all kinds of books people research online how to hear the language of plants and animals and they put all kinds of codes they say recite it by 12 or 1 many christians you get up carry your big head and stand in front of the mirror and now recite it the last you recite it and just wake up and see that it's morning you slept something happened to you you may not know what happened again anytime god wants to take in and bring out of a man sleep happens and god calls adam to sleep hallelujah are you understanding this we're talking about dominion through through spiritual intelligence the knowledge that leads to death i'm going to share with you very importantly very quickly two laws even if it's just in five minutes wherever we stop that's it for the night two important spiritual laws that can help us i'm committed to making sure that god grants us spiritual intelligence that we have knowledge this is what makes you strong in the spirit prayer is good but it's not just enough to pray you must have knowledge so that when you see things you know what laws are in place and you know what to do about them knowledge takes away ignorance knowledge takes away shock from your life so that you are not surprised about anything when you hear that something has happened you don't just panic you understand hallelujah praise the name of the lord law number one is called the law of territory if you want to walk in dominion you must understand this law the law of territory everybody say the law of territory look up please dominion is territorial dominion is territorial even in the satanic organogram they understand the jurisdiction and the boundaries of territories there are spirits and principalities that do not operate in the earth realm it's not their territory of work are you getting me every time they are on the earth realm they are powerless there are certain demonic operations that are territorial i give you an instance when you go to certain territories in this nigeria you see that there are certain traits and satanic operations given to that territory when you go outside of the territory it doesn't seem to have a hold on you again is that true and you go into another territory maybe it's drunkenness that is there you go to another territory maybe it's lust and immorality the operations of the kingdom and the operations of the spirit are territorial every man every kingdom citizen must know this abraham come out of your father's house 
come out of this territory where you are into a land that I will show you and if you do get to that land then I will bless you and you will be a blessing I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curses you and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed but that will only happen if you leave one territory to another everybody say dominion is territorial it's a spiritual intelligence that you must understand number two is that you must understand very very clearly that in the place of your assignment that is where you will exercise true dominion everything opens up for you at your assigned territory there is an assigned territory where the spirit of dominion can walk in your life hallelujah this is what a lot of people do not understand please look up you must take out time to hear from god are you getting me as to where he wants you to be at every season not just what you want him to do for you but where your blessings are territorial and isaac sowed in that land Genesis 26 from verse 12. And Isaac sowed, not just in any land, although there was famine, God told him, this is your territory of dominion. Sow in that land. A man of God may go to Zamfara and sit down and say, Zamfara, it's not a lucrative place. Let me run to Abuja for ministry. And he goes outside of territory. Are you getting my point? And you see a man struggling in a land of plenty he's struggling yet you will see another man in the same zamfara blessings coming from people those who are born again and those who are not born again because you are in the place of your territory say the law of territory many of us right now are at the face of our lives where we are trusting to know where God wants us to settle for every season. It can change, but that in every season, there is a territory. You miss your territory, you will never walk in dominion. Because where God has assigned you, he has commanded the ravens to feed you. He has commanded the widow to attend to you. Are you getting what I'm saying? I'll never forget when we finished the crusade in Joss. And the PFN people called me in the particular local government in Joss. And they said, would you come and establish a branch of your ministry? We'll give you an auditorium free and we'll give a few pastors to train. I was happy. I went to God. God said you would die. I told the PFN people, God said I would die. I'm really sorry. I can't go. As simple as that. Many of you would have said, ah, breakthrough. God has buttered my bread and you will go there that's why you can see a ministry flourishing in a in a particular place and then they move to a place and it's as though god did not call them again favor is a sign that you are in the right place when i send thee lackest thou anything when i send thee lackest thou anything By the grace of God at this level of ministry, I can tell you, I am sure that we are in the place assigned. That's why it doesn't matter what venue we use. Whether it is Blue Roof, whether it is Charity and Faith, whether it's whatever. There seems to be grace backing us. So many people have called me. One lady said, them and their family members, they are praying that I must come to Abuja. They say, relocate, your level is bigger than Zaria. I said, I appreciate you. But I remember there was a man called Ahitophel in scripture. Don't let people advise you out of your destiny. They may be genuine. They look at you and say, Kai, Zaria, it's, it's too much for your level. You say, it's true. Just that, what will we do? And you start thinking and pack your load out of your destiny into a land where there is no assigned space for you. You get into the land and there is no divine assignment for you. There's no space for you. You keep fighting and struggling with everybody. 
Moses said, if your presence will not go with us, let us remain in this territory where we are sure that your presence is with us. This may be the answer to some of the tragedy of many of our parents. They got up because of looking for greener pastures. They just packed their load and said, Lagos, here we come. Ten years now, they are still suffering. Every door shuts at your face. It's a sign to go back for retreat and say, Lord, speak to me. Speak to me. Where am I missing it? Don't just let jobs and all of these things decide your destiny. I know this looks like a, a stupid statement and many people will criticize me for it. They'll say, are you joking? In Nigeria where there's no job. But you must be careful. You exercise dominion in the place of your territory your territory does not just mean the geography alone it means your jurisdiction of operation are you getting me if i go and enter the prophetic ministry right now as an office i'm not a prophet as an office i may operate in prophetic dimensions but god did not call me as a prophet in, in officially like your office your jurisdiction if i now say i'm going to come in and make sure i prophesy for everybody one by one i give you two weeks many of you will start praying and fasting for me because you will start having all kinds of dreams of me missing it you say oh god what is happening this guy is missing this thing there are many men of god who were called to be teachers or pastors but they they got outside of territory are you getting what i'm saying now there are other people who were called into prayer ministries their anointing is the anointing for intercession but they've now begun to teach wealth seminars and teaching all kinds of prosperity conventions that's not wrong except that you have come out of territory everybody say territory you will only walk in your dominion if you confine yourself and limit yourself to your territory your jurisdiction of operation there are certain dimensions of ministry if God instructs me to engage in, I will find graces that are called at the heart of that area and bring them. It doesn't matter whether I can preach more than them. It doesn't matter whether I have more miracles than them. Uh -uh. It's about the grace and the dominion. When a man is in his area of territory, you will exercise dominion freely. You see why a lot of pastors are struggling. You go to a church and copy what a man of God is doing. You do not know his his ministerial packaging are you getting my point so many people who are pastors trying to do the work of apostles little persecution comes and they are crying they cannot move forward because see when god calls a man he equips you according to the office when you learn this law you will walk in dominion absolute dominion there are things i have no business doing if God gives me an instruction, he will have to give me a special grace for it or direct me to the people who will administer that level of building to the body of Christ. Watch my knee calls it the limitation of the body. People struggle because they do not understand their jurisdiction of operation. Is someone getting blessed tonight? Your assigned territory. God has honored you in the area of catering. When it comes to catering, you walk in dominion there. The next thing you got up and you just heard that people are doing um, building materials and you just get up and go there. You say, I'm supplying building materials. Your first supply, there was trouble. Second supply, 10 years down the line, you are still struggling. Everybody say territory. Okay, Jesus the second law and then we will pray this one is very important it is a law that you must believe in and walk in it it's called the law of exchange this is a powerful spiritual law if you must walk in dominion giving something you love for something you desire is called the law of exchange the law of exchange you laid aside your majesty, gave up everything for me, suffered at the hands 
of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you are my heart and i am yours forever and ever i will love you you are the only one who died for me you gave your life to set me free and so i lift my voice to you in adoration listen how many of you have had that a man gave up his ability to give birth to children for money have you heard of that everybody say the law of exchange when you understand this law you will know the reason why evil seems to happen in a place unhindered when the bible says an eye for an eye have you heard that tooth for tooth i've studied it it's not like when i break your teeth you will break back my own to revenge are you getting me it's called compensation that means if i do something to you you must take back something that can appease you to the equivalence of the offense are you getting what i'm saying it's called the law of exchange that's where we get trade by butter i give you a cow you must find something that is commensurate to the worth of that cow are you getting me that's why when man fell based on the justice of god god looked around to see what can be given he said if i give gabriel it's not enough if i give michael it's not enough do you know why because angels themselves are imperfect i hope you know it angels excel in light they excel in strength but they are still imperfect do you want me to show you Job? let's look at it one scripture you are the one who said i should show you Turn to the book of Job. Sorry about the time. We'll round up now. He could not give the angels because they are imperfect. Job 4. Please project it. Job 4, verse 18 and 19. I want us to read it together. Job 4. Can we hurry up? Our time is. Job 4. Everyone read. Want to read. He charges angels with what? Verse 19. He said even his servants he didn't trust them and even the angels he charged them with foolishness how much more a man that wants God to use him without being trained <laughs> so God could not give Gabriel and Michael and all of these people and so he looked at the perfect one the sinless one and said you are the only one that can go as an exchange for what i desire please listen to me the same principle satan wanted to use for jesus christ he took jesus to the mountain and he said bow to me in other words let me give you wealth and exchange it with your loyalty for me are you getting my point just bow to me since you are the expression of the godhead bow to me so that the father will see you bowing to me and I can give you wealth. So when a man goes to meet a herbalist, he tells him, what are you going to give me in exchange? Please listen. I will tell you 
this is the reason why many territories are powerful this is why some of the terrorisms you see in nigeria are powerful they always give something in exchange for the authority to invade a territory that's why they do it military might irrespective are you getting my point when you come to god and say lord i want you to use me god says what is the exchange for it and he said lord take my life have you had that scripture that says what shall it profit a man if he does what and what loses his soul that means he said satan let's do business and satan said of course i'm a good businessman i will give you my soul give me the world so that anywhere i do business whether in italy whether in dubai let it work so that i must be the governor of this state or i must be this take my soul so that i will be the reigning musician and nobody can stop me and he says all right let's have the deal and he says take my soul they have received the mark of the beast that's the 666 there it's not something that will be put on their hand they have given their soul they have received the mark are you getting my point so satan comes to you what do you want to give in exchange please listen something must be given in exchange if you must walk in true dominion everybody knows this it's not a herbal strategy it's a spiritual strategy i'm walking in the anointing i'm walking in by the grace of god because i received this of grace but something went for it my life my will my ambitions my desires they were laid down that's why i wrote that song take all of me all of me you have my everything that's my deal with god you have my everything are you getting me so my entire life will give him glory the day i compromise on my own part of the deal his mercy will show up but if i walk in rebellion i have broken the deal that's the reason why a man can give an exchange he will say i will give you my firstborn only give me this political position when the firstborn is now born the people come and say oh yeah oh, we gave you the power we gave you the wife where is our firstborn and he says sorry i didn't realize that children are this nice i've changed my mind they say you've changed your mind we will see all of a sudden the child starts getting sick they must collect their child except the power of god intervenes this is the reason why many families are suffering people covenanted families in exchange for money kings covenanted their territories are you hearing what i'm saying they gave it in exchange for protection they gave it there are families that gave in exchange their fertility so no children can happen in that family there are families that traded boys they said there shall be no men take give us might what men would have done let the women in our family do but take all the men and you find out that no matter how people try they will never give birth to men they give birth to men they will die no matter what happens you just hear that he was taking fresh air outside a bike came and carried him are you hearing what i'm saying exchange see these laws are not old testament laws they are spiritual laws they are still working today here and now are you hearing what i'm saying this is the law that terrorists use before they ever carry an assignment they must take out time are you seeing the reason why every time they shed blood people become richer think about it the moment blood is shed somebody makes money exchange 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 are you seeing the reason why the sacrifice of solomon touched the lord he offered a thousand bond offerings it was an expression of his heart god could not stop he came down many of us may never walk in dominion because you are not ready to exchange your life for his life you are not ready to exchange your strength for his strength but tonight how many people 
are ready to say lord take everything if this is the price for your grace and your glory don't let anybody fool you and say there's no price you go to a herbalist and see if he will just give you power like that look at me there are men who sacrifice their wives for wealth true or false some christians right there are pastors who sacrifice their children for church growth there are pastors who sacrifice their members for expansion i've said it again and again nothing just happens the day jesus will come we have a long world film to watch that's when we will know that most of the things we call coincidences were not coincidences hallelujah listen let me tell you something i will never forget one time i was praying in the night years ago and i prayed and i was dedicating my body unto god i stripped myself the way my mother gave birth to me and i lay down on the floor i said lord let this body become a superconductor of your anointing if there is anything you can do to this mortal body let it carry your power this body cannot be used for sin and hell it, it i dedicate it unto you and god said this is what you are giving me i will put my glory upon your life and somebody just comes and says, god give me give me give me give me give me and the lord the demons are just looking and say look at all these ignorant people these are the negotiations that many scientists did with aliens are you getting me many intelligent people they said give us give us technology give us the wisdom you used and gave the pharaohs of old give us and let us do supernatural things in exchange we will give you the souls of men we will give you mankind we will give you a lot of things and it's happening here in the earth that's why you can see a man sitting down all of a sudden within two weeks this man becomes a mysterious millionaire either god has done something to him or the devil has done something there was an exchange somewhere a man of god is sitting down and all of a sudden power comes upon his life he begins to do supernatural things i tell you there is an exchange he has either gone to the throne of grace to exchange his life and say lord take it take my life and use me for your glory or he has gone to a herbalist and say take my firstborn or every two two years kill 10 members from my church as a sacrifice and let the anointing keep rising the life that i now live paul told us the secret of his anointing he said the life that i now live i live by the faith of god lift your hands listen listen please the spirit of god is in this place hallelujah and the angels of the lord please don't stop playing are in this place this is a very very prophetic moment now the lord is going to be moving from inside and outside and he's going to be separating certain people this is not deliverance although that can happen this is a heavy impartation the weight of god is about to mantle people in very strong ways hallelujah please lift your hands father i pray in the name of the lord jesus all those who belong to this category in the name that is above all names lift your hands my god lord at the count of three let there be a wild move of the spirit one two three shake it no compete outside bring them out bring them out touch an impartation of fire let there be a separation. Separate them, O oh God. Separate them, O oh God. Outside, the power of God is falling now. Outside, is hitting men right now. Like a tornado. Outside, outside. 
there are angels outside the power of God is falling like a wildfire a separation a separation take it take it take it take it take it it's a separation a wild fire let it engulf them oh god let it burn let the coal from the throne let the coal from the throne let it come upon visitors lord those who are visiting in koinonia may they take the fire now May the visitors take the fire now. So there are angels outside. I tell you, there is a move of fire all across the first overflow. At the back, the overflow at the back outside. The overflow at the back outside. The fire of God is falling. The overflow at the back, outside. The fire of God is falling. There's an army rising up there's an army rising up there's an army rising up yeah. to break every chain break every chain break every chain there's an army rising up, come on. There's an army rising up. Yeah. There's an army rising up. Shake it, break it, your hands God is not done yet I told you there will be a visitation listen at the count of three many people will enter visionary experiences right now vision vision one two three take it take it vision vision take it take it vision I open up prophetic realms take it take it Visions, visions, visions. Hey, 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 hey. Step into realms of visions, prophecy, visions, prophecy. I ignite fire. Hallelujah. Visions, visions, visions. Look at me. Look at me. Take it now. Take it. Take it. In this row, an angel is walking in this row. This row now. Now. This row. Take it. 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 Take it now. There's an army rising up. There's an army rising. They are rising up. There's 
to break every chain. Hallelujah. HOD, step into new levels of grace, two of you. Take it, take it now. Goodness, the power of God is strong upon me. Gande la kata te kata, rakata bande brende keta, sopro te pente ke, rekete skete, rekete, 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 rekete tete. A protoscope rekete, rekete. The hand of the Lord is upon me. The hand of the Lord is upon me. Reposkete da. Let the Spirit of God move in power. Break chains. Kete tete le ba 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 ba. Le kere re 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 mau. Le kete protoscope ba ba ba. It will break every chain. Break every chain. They will break every chain. There is a road that the power of God is moving outside. There is a road outside. It will start with a lady. There is a lady right now under the power of God. And it will follow to that road. Open the floodgates of heaven, O God. Hallelujah. All of you in this front row, just hold your hands. Just this row looking at me. Hold your hands. Lift it up. Father, let it come like a mighty wind. Take it now. 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 Soto prete kete teta. Repete kete tete ba. Som prete kete la ba 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 ba. Let it come like fire. Yeah. Giving me the name of someone, Sarah. Sarah. Just leave them, don't worry. Don't, don't scatter what God is doing. Hallelujah. God is bringing deliverance to your family. Hold my hands. It ends now. Now! 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 Be delivered. I cast that devil. Has that devil by the fire of the Holy Ghost? Hallelujah. We will have a visitation tonight. Lift your hands. I want to call spirits that are responsible for marital delay. Every spirit wife, every spirit husband, many of you will be surprised at what will happen to you. Some of you are already out. 
you came out for impartation lift your hands at the count of three the fire of the spirit will be separating men every devil causing delay in marriage at the count of three i want you to shout the name jesus lord as they shout jesus i expose every devil and it leaves them forever are you ready now one two three be free now now i call spirits i call spirits marital delay i call spirits every marital delay i cause you i open doors of marriages now doors of marriage be open every spell every enchantment every act of divination right now i set you on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire on fire now i challenge altars i challenge thrones i challenge spells we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain we break every chain break every chain break every chain let her go now go let her go now go be free lay your hands on your stomach God is setting you free The devil must let you go. There's someone in this room where I'm standing. The power of God will come upon you now. Somebody in this room, a strong anointing will come upon that person. Please speak that person right now. He's coming by the power of the Holy Spirit. There's one person. It's a deliverance fire. It will fall on you right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Pick the person. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone holding like a child outside. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me in a vision. Please pick them inside. I'm seeing someone. It's like you're holding. Is it a child I'm seeing? Is there such person like that? Please. Who is that? Come, 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 please. Save time. We have to minister to other people. There's this lady standing close to you. That lady. Yes, with white head tie. My dear, it's time. lift your hands where you are. Visit her now, oh God. Now, by the power of the Holy Ghost, I cast that wicked spirit in the name of Jesus. Listen. Those of you here, just lift your hands. Lift your hands. At the count of three, I want you to shout Jesus. There will be a wild move of the spirit because I see a lot of demonic oppressions. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Let the power of God move. Move right now. Move right now. Move right now. I cause every power. I cause every power. Bring them in. Go now to break every chain. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? At times like this, she just like 
this is demonic oppression look at me look at me look at me is she okay she's not okay look at me hold my hands satan let her go now look at what is happening i seen this look at the spirit tormenting her let her go let your legs be stretched now look at what is happening to the legs is the camera watching watch this this is the power of god by itself in the name of jesus christ let her go now 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 watch this look at her deliverance out out of her now out 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 Kate paratapa. i return her back to sanity every madness out of her now excuse me every madness out out never returns i see an altar on fire this is what i'm seeing this is what is responsible let me tell you every altar speaking against everyone tonight it will catch fire this night in the name of the lord jesus christ thank you jesus liver stand up stand up and follow me stand up by yourself and follow me stand up come follow me stand up walk come 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 on can you sing i hear the chains falling i hear the chains, I hear the chains falling. every madness of the devil has to find his way there is power in the name of jesus there is power At, look at what look at what the devil has done to this lady huh? look at are you seeing for meeting look at the things that the devil has done bastardize this lady's life look at me what's your name Leslie. what's your name Leslie. what's your name Leslie. say Jesus. Jesus say I am fine she literally ate her mouth and injured it like that look at you can see where the skin was taken. Look at me. Follow me. Say, I am fine. I'm fine. Say, I'm fine. I'm fine. It never returns to you again. <laughs> Stretch your hands and say, it's over. <laughs> this deliverance is over. <laughs> if there is any other person with any sign of madness in this place or any kind of psychosomatism, be free now in the name of Jesus. Be free now in the name of Jesus. Look at me. The demons that torment you have left you and will never return to you again. God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. Please take her child. This is, I'm seeing witchcraft. The Lord is showing me witchcraft. People will rise in the family. When they get to a point, something hits them down. And that's the end of it. No matter what happens. This is what the Lord is showing me. But the Lord is going to bring deliverance. Please lift your hands. Because this is, I'm seeing a lot of witchcraft. My God and my King, let this thing end right now. Because this thing is not just with you alone. It's with your family members. My God, let it end now. Let it end now. Even to your husband. Let her go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her. Out of her. By the power of the Holy Ghost.
madam, this is your child. Please hold, hold the child. Where is your husband? Eh? Where is he? He's in summer. What's he doing? We have to pray for him. You know why I asked? I'm seeing the spirit of death. Huh? I'm seeing a man holding, and please, if I'm lying, tell me I'm lying. I'm seeing a man holding like chalk. Huh? It's chalk, writing. As in his writing. Is he a teacher? He's a lecturer. This is death coming on him. And we have to break it. Are you getting that now? Do you believe it? If you don't believe, I will just leave you before you now turn and say this person. The reason why we say this is because I understand that there are all kinds of perverted visions and revelations and corruption of the prophetic. So everybody that seems to reveal something, people just think that, ah, this person has done this and that. Are you getting my point now? I must not... See, God must not show me what is happening to her husband for him to be delivered. I hope you know that. The word of God is potent enough to deliver the person. You understand? But God does these things as a sign and a wonder. Hallelujah. The family is about to be delivered right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. A family is about to be delivered right now. Be delivered now. I'm not speaking. Out! Now! I hear the chain. Falling. Two of you come. Are you related? Come, come, come. Two of you. Yes. What's your relationship? Eh? Is your boss? You are learning to sew in his place. Don't laugh. I don't mean love relationship. I mean, what's your relationship? Huh? Because I saw the clothes I'm wearing on you suddenly. Are you getting my point now? God is just delivering people. Out! Let her go. Our uh, ushers, you are still not exempted. Be doing your work and be sensitive. Anything can happen to you. Be doing your work and be very, very... Please, everybody be sensitive. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. You will experience dramatic increase in the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. There's witchcraft in your family. Wait. Yes, sir. Be true. There's everybody, it's not like every this is death, this is delay marriage. La, wait now, calm down. God is going to set you free. Huh? Look at me, just look at me. Look at me, just look at me. Try to look at me, do your best, do your very best. He's unable to look at me just because it's an instruction, it's not like it's any herbal thing. God is setting you free, a habit is leaving you. And a curse is leaving you. You look at me. Do your best. Lord, I attack witchcraft to its root. Out! Something's moving. Something's changing. See it coming. Feels like heaven on earth. Something's moving. Something's changing. your husband in the name of the Lord Jesus every spirit of death by the blood we command that you leave him in the name of Jesus none shall die in the name of Jesus Christ come sign up 
It's time for God to step into your family. Run and come. See, I don't need to call you. Just connect by faith. God is already touching people and families. Are you getting my point now? Financial increase is coming to your family. Take it now. Financial increase, mighty increase coming to your family. That's what the Lord is telling me. Mighty increase. I break the limitation. The same thing is happening to that lady. That's why this is happening. Every other person, oh God, that you are bringing financial increase. I know everybody will be touched. Listen, when God does one and you see other people reacting, it's because it's the same prophecy. So let's just maximize what God is doing. Lift your hands. Father, everyone who belongs to this category, at the count of three, may the anointing to make it happen be released. One, two, three. Take it now. 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 Financial bondage. Broken. Outside. Broken. This is a cause of hardship in the name of Jesus let her go I release her and her family out out that cause of hardship out the Lord is bringing increase for your father I'm seeing traditional things these are herbal things I'm seeing in a shrine the Lord is taking them away and bringing serious financial increase to your family lord confirm your word i've spoken as you have shown me let it be confirmed in the name of jesus this is your baby please give somebody hold the baby Take away this garment of shame over your life in the name of Jesus. This garment of shame. Go! Be set free, be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Who is Eunice? Eunice. 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 Lord is ministering to me a lady called Eunice who is that please if it's your name or someone related we have to save time Eunice Gabriel 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 I'm seeing the last digits of a GSM number. 221. 221. That's the last digit of your phone number. 221. Who is that? You are the one? Do I know you? Okay, Gabriel. Okay. 221. Please, if that is yours, just come out. 221. The last digits. 221. Please verify. Don't come and tell us lies here. 221. That's what I'm seeing. It's like something covered the rest and I'm seeing 221. If that is yours, please come on. Gabriel, can I pray for you? Stand up, please, sir. What do you do? I'm an artist. Is that the only thing you do? 
Final department. Okay. I want to pray for you. Because what God is showing me, I'm not seeing you drawing. Huh? This is this is business I'm seeing. You look at me. Do you believe what I'm saying? I want to pray for you because things are tight for you right now. You're just looking, but things are not are really, really tight. Father, visit him. You called out Gabriel. Receive this visitation right now. In the name of Jesus. Your name is Gabriel too. Who is Adamu? Huh? It's a man in Kano. What? A man in Kano. Where do I know Adamu from? What's your relationship with Adamu? We work together. We work together. Is he a nice man? No. He's a wicked man. God is bringing justice to you. Hold my hands. Look at me. Have I met you? Do I know you? How do I know that there's a relationship between Gabriel and Adamu? Do you believe that God is setting you free? Father, like it was for Jacob and Laban, let there be justice. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, may there be mighty justice. Look, let me tell you, your life is about to change. It will shock you. Huh? But your relationship with God, did you, did you rededicate your life here? Do your own now. You are supposed to come out. Why did you stay back? This is what is giving legal access. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Lift your hands. Say after me, Lord Jesus. I'm serious with my relationship with you. I make up my mind to stop playing games. From tonight, I'm a genuine child of God. Women, out of his life. Every spirit of immorality, lost, and every related thing I cause you, be free. My God will give you promotion that will honor you and lift him in Jesus' name. Why are you here? Why are they here? What next? Eh? All of you are Eunice. Is she married? God is visiting your family. Out! There is a garment of shame God is taking away from your life. Huh? You are a lady boy. It's like you are a man. Nobody is coming to you. Nobody cares. Nobody is even saying your hair is fine. We have to take this in a way. Look at me, my dear. It's not normal. We have to curse it. Lord Jesus, help this lady. Now, I restore that glory in the name of Jesus Christ. I won't say it here, but be careful. Huh? You, you understand what I'm saying, right? Do you understand? Please be very careful. The devil comes to steal, kill, and what? Destroy. But God shows you mercy and grace. Huh? Lay your hands on your stomach. Thank you, Jesus. Let there be perfection. Lord is not even talking about you. He's talking about your elder ones. I've seen them. It's because it's the same thing that is happening there. I've taught you people. Bring out. Lord, let it be over now. on my hands just lay your hands on my hands it ends to appoint unto them that mourn in zion i appoint unto you a season of liberty in the name of the lord jesus to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beautiful ashes what is happening to you is happening to her at the same time to appoint unto them that mourn in zion to give them beauty for ashes. 
It's the same thing that is happening to her. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is going to do something strange in this place right now. All of you from Kogi State, lift your hands. Just lift your hands. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your hands. This is a very strange instruction. There will be massive deliverance right now. Follow me, instrumentalist, please. At the count of three, this is a territorial deliverance. Lift your hands, please. Follow me, instrumentalist. One, every altar, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Shake it, 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 it. outside. I command the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. All the children that have been buried, the blood. Lord, in Kogi State, as you have shown me, every Kogi person, every altar against your life, catch fire now. Catch fire now. Catch fire now. Bring them out. Bring them out. Deliverance. Every altar. The children that have been buried. I command the earth. Share in the word of the Lord. I come with an apostolic territorial mantle. Let there be deliverance. Massive deliverance. Now, now, shut it, 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 it. I'm seeing snakes. I'm seeing snakes. All kinds of snakes. All kinds of snakes. This is what I'm seeing. They catch fire now. They catch fire now. Every serpent, every devil. I speak to shrines. I speak to altars. I speak to covens. By the anointing of the Spirit. For the Spirit of the Lord. Tonight is upon me. I challenge you. I command an exodus. An exodus. An exodus. you will hear testimonies they will carry the dead bodies of men those who are found they will carry dead bodies of witches and wizards that will not let you go I command the vengeance of God let the dagger of judgment fall upon every shrine let the dagger of God's judgment I command it if I be an apostle of God I command it Hallelujah You have won the victory Come on, lift your hands and worship Hallelujah You have won it all for me You have won
everyone who is sick lay your hands there right now for time's sake we may not have everyone come on but lay your hands something miraculous will happen in this place right now wherever you are lay your hands some you're laying your hands but what is if it's in an area that you cannot lay your hands just lay your hands on your chest hallelujah now listen listen the moment i pray for you the power of god is already healing people right now check yourself the moment you find out that the miracle is happening to you maybe not everybody just run out and come and stand here there will be an explosion of miracles you must celebrate what God is doing who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when my God has not established hallelujah lay your hands now and while Jesus was teaching the power of God was present to heal the Bible says and when the even was come they brought unto him all that were sick and crippled and oppressed please take it serious this is a miracle service we don't fake it in this place a miracle is about to happen as I begin to command please check yourself start doing what you could not do this is the point where your faith is needed hallelujah in the name of Jesus the son of the living God and by the mystery of the blood that pays the price for the ransom of anything in the spirit the blood is a receipt that can pay for anything in the spirit and Lord I pray right now as I begin to declare I want you to shout a loud amen miracles are already happening in the name of Jesus blind eyes be open now blind eyes every eye condition be healed now be healed now every kind of deafness complete or partial deafness be healed now be healed now god is touching people peptic ulcer be healed now be healed now peptic ulcer peptic ulcer you will feel like fire burning on your chest right now that's ulcer being healed god is healing ulcer ulcer you will feel fire burning on your chest ulcer is being healed right now i give you the praise i give you the praise i give you the praise lump in the breast lump in the breast the right breast lump in the right breast is being healed now lump is being healed now i cost that spirit I cast that spirit by the prophetic word. This lady is going to start coughing things out. She's going to start coughing things out right now. She will start coughing things out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Migraine headache. Every kind of migraine be healed now be healed now be healed now every respiratory condition someone is going to feel something jump out of your chest now every respiratory condition heart condition breathing problem I command the spirit leave now leave now those outside make sure you are connected leave now in the name of Jesus
there are so many ladies with so much pain even if you are not on your period your stomach I cause that pain together with all kinds of menstrual pain menstrual pain of all sorts go now go now go now menstrual pain is of the devil I don't care what medicine says go now 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 irregular period the Lord is healing that now right now there's a lady you've been on your period for two months non-stop it dries up now now and there's a lady from November last year you don't need to come out from November last year you've only seen your period twice in the name of the Lord Jesus I restore order to your body now I restore order the power of God is moving to this effect I restore order now now hallelujah please begin to check yourself begin to check yourself a tooth problem has been healed I give you the praise Lord a tooth ache tooth problem serious tooth problem the Lord is healing it right now right now right now right now Lord let every healing every healing hallelujah now I really want to conserve time I'm just thinking since Pastor Jake is here, we can lay hands faster on the sick. Do I need to call the sick to come out? Is that a good idea? Answer now, let's work together. Because I know there are people you are still not satisfied. Okay, please and please, if you've been healed, just stay back. Especially for our guests who are coming here for the first time. And then a few others. If you check your body and you see that you are still sick and you need the touch of God, please come out and line up. Healing Thank you, Jesus. Worship rain God. is falling down. Healing rain is falling down. I'm not afraid. I'm not afraid. Brought, who brought our daddy? He came on his own. He came on his own. What's wrong, sir? Difficult in walking. Difficult in walking. Your leg? What happened, sir? I just feel, one day I just feel like they are past me. I can't weak. Your leg is weak. I'm going to pray for you, daddy. And Jesus will heal you right now. Hold my hand, sir. Don't worry, just sit down. Thank you, Jesus. The power of God will start moving your leg. Lord, thank you for healing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I cast that spirit. You see something happening to your leg? You're feeling something happening to your leg, right? Yes. The power of God is moving. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of the Christ of God. Daddy, look at me in the name of the lord jesus christ stand up come 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 help him help him this is stroke this is stroke in the name of jesus i cause it i cause it i cause it sir at the count of three lift up both of your hands one two three just lift your hands lift your hands that stroke hand i cause it in the name of jesus daddy try walking come 
Hold my hands. Follow me. Come. Come. Look at me. Look at me. Come. 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 Just turn. Turn. By yourself. Just do what I'm doing. Do what I'm doing. Come on now. Look at God giving a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Are you seeing the power of God now? Oh, 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 oh. only has God healed you daddy God is going to restore to you every worm has eaten everything the Pama worm has eaten because the Lord is showing me that the enemy would have taken your life first week of October they would have buried you first week of October this is what the Lord is showing me but in the name that is above all names four years, four years now for four years this has been the devil had wanted to destroy you. I'm saying first week of October, they would have buried you. But in the name that is above all names, the Bible says the heaven of the heavens belong to the Lord, but the earth has he given. So, all oh earth, I forbid you from taking this man's body. In the name of Jesus, he will live long, he will live strong. And for every one of you praying for him, may your family members live long. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Daddy, we are going to walk one more time. Look at, look at. He's so excited. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. To the shame of the devil. Come and walk again, Daddy. Walk. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please take him to his seat. The Lord perfects him in the name of Jesus. Worship him. Help us. Let's save him. your mom 
Mommy, where are you? Where's the mommy? Faith's mother. Where's Mama Faith? Come. I need to destroy death from your family. There is a serious yoke of death. Bring your sister. You are not the only one. All the people in your family that came, come and stand here. This is witchcraft. Come and stand here. This is not sickness. What a mighty God we serve. Please hurry up. Just save our time, please. The creator of heaven and earth. will set the whole family free. Kai, this is witchcraft. Acute witchcraft. You know you need a miracle, right? Huh? You came here trusting God. Huh? What did the doctors tell you? Wait now. I need to pray for you. Huh? The leg issue is a simple issue. If I don't pray for you, they are going to diagnose you with cancer. Huh? Cancer of the breast. Cancer of the breast now. Me all the time. It's cancer. This is what I'm telling you. If we don't destroy it now, this is cancer of the breast. It's witchcraft. Huh? It's okay. Don't cry. Please. Please. We don't have handkerchief here. Handkerchief. Oh, please. Madam, listen. I told you he's dead. Where is, where is your husband? husband is dead. husband is dead. Where is your mother? My mother is dead. They, uh, wait, I'm showing you that this is witchcraft. They want to kill everybody in your family. Huh? They want your son. Where is your son? My senior brother. Wait, who? He's paralyzed completely. If there is a God in heaven, hear me. If there is God in this place tonight, your deliverance comes. You have won the victory. Hallelujah. You have won it all for me. Hold my hands. Jesus, change their story. Let the speaking blood speak right now. In the name of Jesus, I break the chains of witchcraft. Please help this woman with a handkerchief. Anybody, anybody, please. There is a God, you will return back to this place to testify. I cause cancer now, 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 out of her body by the power of the Holy Ghost. Cancer dies now, together with the leg issue. Your leg will start moving now, supernaturally by itself. Your leg will start moving under the influence of the Spirit. And that evil thing upon your leg leaves you forever. Baby, hold my hands. Hallelujah. Look at this innocent girl. Look at this girl. Where's the camera? When you look at this girl, you see a walking corpse. Do you understand? I'm seeing a coffin in the spirit. They have finished this girl since last year. This girl you are seeing. Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. Jesus said it. Is there anything too hard for me to do? I am there. 
Father, change this girl's story. I bring you out of the valley of the shadow of death in the name of Jesus Christ. Out! Now! Out! Now! Out! Now! In the name of Jesus. I change the story of this family now whatever legal access the devil has over your family we lift up the blood as the price for your ransom therefore we command your exodus now the same thing is happening to someone here exodus now everyone marked for death i command your exodus now everyone marked for death everyone marked for death i command your exodus now in the name of jesus let's save time Set her free in the name of Jesus. Free. Free.
Alleluia. Alleluia. For you and your loved ones be healed. You do wonders. You do wonders in me. His of wonders. His. Your season has come. Your season of smiling has come. Receive it. Story. Yes, Mama. Where are they born? You can't enter. They say they want to do the prison, but I hear people say, "My father, you must die." You are saying, "Mary, we pray for you." You are pregnant. No. Where are they born? You can't enter. They disturb me. They say they want to do the prison, and they say I must die. I can't hear voice in the night. Say, "My father, you must die." Hey, I don't. I don't get the whole details. Or oh, a voice is saying she must die. Who shall declare a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not commanded it? He said, No witchcraft, no enchantment against Jacob shall stand. See, don't let all this nonsense voice. It's when you don't know who you are. I think we are going to sing that song. Chosen generation. We need to shout it to the devil that we are not confused. Wash it. Through. Are you ready now? Give us that song. Sing anything, even if you don't know the fashion. Just sing the one you know. Are you ready now? Jehovah will give you all the 
name hey if we don't finish here on time you will sleep here oh. dissolves and passes out of this body in the name of Jesus thank you Jesus do you have your prayer request please start submitting it or shall start getting a prayer request prayer requests are very important they are not a formality if you've not written it now is the time send a text to your loved one and say send it fast there is a God that answers prayers Thank you, Jesus. Ziba la da ba la koshu brady mana. Be healed now. Savior, He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. Yes, He is mighty to save. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Jesus is great in this place. Please write out your prayer requests. Don't spare anything. Hallelujah. Please, I want to pray. I want to lay hands on all the children all the little children from age 1 to 10 just 1 to 10 if you are more than 10 keep them 1 to 10 please bring them out 1 to 10 mothers if you are tired give somebody to hold the child and come with it please just hurry up let's save time while we collect it please if you are not interested you can sit back please bring all the children we must lay hands ah that's a baby teach me how to hold though before i strangle the neck of this baby <laughs> come and hold the mic for me let me do serious business here Baby has small nose like you. Hold on. Baby, we prayed for your arrival. Oh. 
every barren woman in this place stand up everybody stand up ah! I use Wumi as a point of contact I'm very serious now every family here trusting God for the fruit of the womb God is breaking barrenness. The same God that brought this baby. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. My God, I pray. I cause barrenness to its root now. In the name of Jesus. Baby, may you be strong. May you grow to be a beautiful and a godly girl. We separate you in advance from destiny killers. Wolves in sheep's clothing. May they never find you in the name of Jesus. All those who are determined to destroy the life of visionary people, they will never find this baby in the name of Jesus. I'm going to lay hands on every one of this child. I want you to help me. If you know that you are a mother or a father, or you plan to be a mother or a father, even if you don't plan, just join us. Hallelujah. Many of you are, especially those of you who are trusting God for marriage this year. I hope you know the year is still young. Is this all the faith you brought for this meeting? now is the time to believe god and stretch your hands and say lord as you did it to them i didn't say come out oh don't worry immediately i finish all those who are trusting god for marriage this year if you think you are bold enough and you are not ashamed immediately after this march out and stand don't be ashamed of anybody don't let anybody look i'm serious hold on if you know you have a lot to do in your destiny you are a hundred level and you just come and march out here please we, we are not playing jamboree here i know there are men of god that do we are acting based on instruction make sure your father and your mother will smile when you tell them you are ready to get married don't cause anything that will come and disgrace the name of the lord praise god all of you stretch your hands it's amazing let me challenge men I don't see any father standing here and I if I remember very well I know that Mary was the only woman who just gave birth like that without a man fathers men every gentleman say say myself behave say it myself behave when it comes to responsibility many men leave the women but if the baby takes first you are the one who wants to go to the school ladies say i refuse stretch your hands let's pray for them every blessing you know you would give your child release it to them pastor jakes please let's lay hands on them father we lay hands on these children every spell name of the lord jesus everything that makes your brain dull we command that you are not dull in the name of jesus christ bring her please in the name of jesus christ baby grow in the fear of the lord in the name of jesus christ hallelujah now if you know honestly please don't play games with god here you know that you are trusting god to settle down maritally in this 2014 come out and stand here
please we are not playing games i am very very serious about it god is a miracle walker god is a glorious god he is a glorious god god is i know you are a miracle One more time. God is a You are ready to marry this year? Are you joking? Eh? You are standing in for somebody. Okay. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. We are young people, but it doesn't mean we are indisciplined. Are you getting my point now? Now look up. I want to say something very important. Some of you standing here are the enemies of your own marriages. Hallelujah. Gideon said, why have we not seen these manifestations? He said, destroy the altars. Any ungodly relationship that you are in, that is stopping your life partner from coming we break it from the realm of the spirit now may that married man never call you again i know you have been getting money from him but the relationship is hereby declared none and void you must choose to walk in holiness and integrity Hallelujah. There are people standing here that there are powers and thrones. Please lift your hands. And horns that attempt to lift themselves against your marriage. You are a very pretty lady. But nobody can look at you. The moment a guy looks at you and is trying to talk to you, something just happens and scatters it. There are some of us, you are guys. You are, you are a hardworking and disciplined person but the moment any lady comes to you today she says she's she's serious after one week there are some of you people come and they die some of you have even had introduction and the guy ran away but in the name that is above all names listen this is an apostolic ministry we are not ashamed the bible says i am not ashamed of the gospel every aspect of the gospel that brings freedom we will preach it and we will set people free lift your hands you will be very surprised i said it at the beginning of the year that god told me there will be surprise marriages even people who did not believe and expect listen let me give you a revelation my bible says male and female he created them what and what did he say female and female? Did he say male and male? That means, ladies, there is a male counterpart for you. You believe that? I'm going to pray for the man, not a man. Are you getting me? Not one man meandering around and you say, let me manage, time is going. No. You can read a course you don't like and manage for five years and leave. You cannot manage marriage. Lift your hands. Let's first destroy these altars of Baal. See that, Ababa. Get ready. Because the power of God is about to shatter spells into pieces. Father, everyone here under the influence of any spirit husband or spirit wife or any enchantment in the name of the Lord Jesus at the count of three may deliverance come to you one two three right now right now right now i cause it i cause it let them go let them go now i release you now i release you now 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 every spirit 
sitting on your marital destiny I set it on fire now hallelujah now I prophesy to you in the name of the Lord Jesus father your people have come out because they are ready to settle down in the name of Jesus whatever attribute they need to have to become award-winning wives and husbands may it come upon them now in the name of Jesus wherever your husband is if he is walking in this earth right now just like Boaz located Ruth I call forth your life partner now by prophecy now goodness the power of God is creating a connection right now right now in the realm of the spirit right now in the name of Jesus I connect you in the realm of the spirit I break every soul tie I break every soul tie I break every covenant stopping you from marriage right here we are going to hold your wedding card and announce it to the shame of the devil in the name of Jesus some of you are ready to marry there's no money God punish the devil in the name of the Lord Jesus we call forth supply the beds that brought food for Elijah in the name that is above all names receive divine supply now go and return with your testimony please rise up everybody pastor jakes please come pastor jakes is going to lead us to pray and prophesy on this request listen friends we have a god that answers prayers there are just few minutes and we'll be out of here hallelujah hallelujah please just stretch forth your hands towards this place and communicate with god get go ahead and pray Father, we pray. Rabala baka shi para gale bondo si para bale brega lele le boko sa. Raka tada da raba si te bale bondo braga la la baria da raba kasanda raba liga de. Riha tasa para bako dia de bale brega de 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 boko sa ni raba da. In the raka tada bato para raka de bale brega la la baria raba do baria. Rako to paya raka tali raba da bale bala. In the brega lele bondo braga do bale brega la la bara kada. Raka tali raba la la bara ya bara bara. Raka la bara bara ya raba da. Enda raka tala bara pata la bara bara. Raka ta baha cha para bada, raka ta li bara ba 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 ba. Enda reke le 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 ba kosi bala bada. Rapato salieta ndo ho, imanga katoja ila, barus aliata ndo, igaboja ila, raunda as ila paliendo, resula atalia, rusa ingo ko, iamba uada, wabula ada yondelu. Riyamula, huacha kayuna ma, huadu ya ya yamiala, ruma uba uragana, rusiada, makondo robo koshika ma. Father Lord, even as we lift up these prayers before you, we ask that the fire of God come. Let the fire come from your presence. Let it come upon these prayers, Lord. Let it rise like incense to you. We release angels of God, angels of God to visit homes, angels of God to visit people in hospitals, angels of finances be released, angels of breakthrough, angels of marriages, angels responsible for salvation, healings for loved ones. In the name of Jesus, we release contracts, we release contracts, we release contracts in the name of Jesus. We speak for it to building projects. Let it arise in the name of Jesus. We speak into dead academics. Let it rise. Dead spiritual lives. Let it rise. The grace of God comes upon families. In the blessed name of Jesus. We speak to barren cases. Family challenges. In the name of Jesus. It ends. We speak to divorce cases. Aha. Lord, for those trusting you, for you to bring back their loved ones, 
fathers in the name of Jesus we ask that fathers come back home in the name of Jesus we call for missing people we ask that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth the angels of God bring them back in the blessed name of Jesus and Lord we speak right now into the highway aha Lord for our loved ones traveling right now Lord in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth that the hand of God will be upon them the Lord will shield them in the blessed name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth father we give you praise we give you glory for every prayer point here Lord it receives answers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth we pray and the church of God says hallelujah God's servant has prayed we convert this prayer request to testimonies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ please everybody stand inside and outside please rise something must change in your life right now And Balak told Balaam, he said, go and curse the nation of Israel. And Balaam told him, he said, I have been commanded to bless. And this I have done. He said, I cannot reverse it. Hallelujah. Scripture said, destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Believe in the Lord your God, and you shall be established. He said, Believe in his prophets, and you shall prosper. I want you to believe that the word that is about to come forth right now can do something remarkable in your life. We've had testimonies indescribable. This is the moment where breakthrough comes. This is the moment where lots of miracles begin to happen. Please lift your head. Hallelujah. He said, weep not. Thou that didst not bear, break forth into singing. Thou that did not have a child, he said, For many are the children of the desolate. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, I come under the apostolic unction and I command receive breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. Breakthrough now. I command breakthrough now every area of your life break through now receive break through now shake it every limit every limit i smash it in the name of jesus whatever has not been working in your life right now in the name that is above all names I command it to start working now. Start working now. Every voice speaking against anyone here that every time you want to move forward, there is a voice. Listen, the Bible says, in six things shall he deliver you, Job 5. He said, yes, seven things. He said in the time of famine you will laugh and you will shall be delivered from the scorching tongues of men in the name that is above all names i command every scorching tongue against your destiny be silenced now be silenced now be silenced now be silenced now Silence now. Be silence now.
to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they might be called the oaks of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified whatever has stopped your growth whether spiritually or academically the Bible says they that dwell in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the courts of our God like the cedars of Lebanon will they be fat and flourishing I command barrenness to be over now I cause barrenness now I cause barrenness record to secretary reports complete to survive and Jesus said every tree that has not been planted by my father hallelujah I shared with you last week on the mysteries of the kingdom that there is the mystery of sleep something happens in the earth when men sleep the Bible says while men slept it's not backsliding while they slept an alien came and planted something and went away and people woke up with diseases they did not sleep with in the name of Jesus every foreigner in your body and your life that my father has not planted come out of their bodies now come out of their bodies now by the fire of the Holy Ghost come out of their bodies now hallelujah and the Lord told Moses he says see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh see I have made you a God unto Pharaoh everything that has oppressed your life and has put you under bondage tonight you rise up above and beyond that challenge now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and the sons of the prophet told Elisha he said where we meet with you is too small come let us go beyond the Jordan and the Bible says while they were felling the tree at Jordan the axe head fell and they said alas master for it was borrowed and the prophet said where did it fall and he threw a stick and the axe head began to float I reverse tonight in the name that is above all names every situation over your life that you know only God can change it may that God change it now every situation in your life that only God can change may that God change now change it now change it now said when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion we were like them that dream and so said among the heathen the Lord has done great things for them he said the Lord has done great things for us whereof we are glad turn again our captivity oh God as the rivers in the Negev I pray let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now let it turn around blessing hit somebody right now hallelujah because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness therefore God even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness above your fellows and the Bible says Esther went in and when the king saw her he said Esther what would you have me do even up to half of my kingdom everywhere you need to enter for the next level of your life reporto soto we break protocols tonight and we command that God will take you there. May my God take you there. May my God take you there. Hallelujah. And the man who was crippled from birth, 
he needed a miracle but there was no man to help him and the bible says some people lifted him and tore the zinc and put him it's one thing for men to want to help you but it's another thing for them to vow to help you all the way i prophesy every destiny helper that is responsible for the next level of your life career wise marriage wise academic wise i call them into your life now 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 hallelujah the bible says thou shalt increase my greatness and comfort me round about genesis 24 verse 1 and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things how many things how many things every part of your life that is remaining to align with the all things anointing the bible says naaman second kings 5 was the captain of the syrian army he was a mighty man the bible says but he was crippled i pray every other area of your life that needs the touch of god let that area of your life receive that divine touch now receive it now receive it now hallelujah the bible says is there hope for a tree although it be cut down he said at the scent of water at the scent of water everything in your life that has gone down that you're asking can god take me back to this level again some of you are asking can i go back to the level of anointing i used to function in again can god take me to that level of grace again my god and your god restores all things for you now the lord most high restores all things now may the peace of god that surpasses all understanding rest and abide with you in the name of the lord jesus christ and now i pray for you may the lord bless you may the lord keep you may the lord lift up his face before you may he lift up his countenance upon you and may he give you peace in the name of the lord jesus christ give god praise in the name of jesus dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development lord grant me the discipline 